Senator Horn. It has been said that a politician thinks about the next election. A statesman thinks about the next generation. Ladies and gentlemen, this is one of those moments. Your Senator Jordan. Listen, glory be because we have a potential to do what is right and what is just for all three million of us. So let's move and get it done now. Now is the time. Thank you. Will you roll call roll, please? Voting yes or yay. Barnett, Blackman, Blackwell, Blunt, Boy, Brian, Butler, Carter, DeBar, Delano, Doty, England, Frazier, Harkins, Hobson, Horn. Jackson of the 15th, Jackson of the 11th, Jackson of the 32nd, Johnson, Jordan, Kirby, McMahon, Michelle, Moran, Norwood, Parker, Hope, Simmons of the 12th, Simmons of the 13th, Silver, Thomas, Thompson, Turner Ford, Wiggins, Witherspoon, Younger, voting no or nay, Brandon, Kaufman, Chazanol, Chisholm, Fillingane, Hill, McCon, McDaniel, McClendon, Seymour, Sojourner, Sparks, Tate, and Whaley. By a vote of 37 to 14, the bill passes. There you go, history made. In the studio is Senator John Horn, uh, District 26 Chairman, Senate Labor Committee, and Vice Chairman, Senate Tourism Committee. John, good morning, sir. Good morning, Paul. What do you think when you hear that? Um, honestly, I got a little choked up. Uh, that was an historic moment. It was an historic moment, and it's a transformative moment for the, for the state of Mississippi. I, I'm, I hear the ringing in the back of my mind of Martin Luther King Jr., free, free at last, um, of, of something that nobody, unless you deal with it on a daily basis, realize what that flag meant uh, as far as uh, our African-American brothers and sisters. And I had an uh, interview on, was it Friday, uh, from uh, Jamar uh, of uh, University of Mississippi and, and uh, along with uh, Dr. Pickett. And I asked him, and I have it in here somewhere, and I asked him, and I, I'll see if I can find it, but uh, I asked him, what is the flag, what does it mean to you? What, 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 when you look at it and be as gentle as you can? And he said... That it represents that this is not my state, and I'm paraphrasing. This is not my state. It's a white man's state. I just happen to be here. And uh, I thought, how can you be a part of something that you feel excluded in? And I think more and more people in this state realize that. But i got to ask you, when, when it happened yesterday, the feelings that went through you. I, you know... There's a lot of emotion, and I'm showing some of that right now. Uh, but uh, it said to me that our state was willing to put, to close the door on a, on a chapter and to uh, move into another chapter. And that chapter was more inclusive, and, and it was uh, one that ha held more promise for the state, not just for black people but promise for the entirety of the state uh, because uh, we're getting rid of an impediment. And uh, that flag has, has been an impediment for Mississippi uh, along with some of our attitudes. And um, uh, we changed a major attitude on yesterday. That's a very good point because, and I mentioned a little bit earlier, now that you see that you can look at each other across the aisle, not as a Republican, not as a white or black, but as a fellow Mississippian. And that's got to that's gotta kind of re-energize. Not that there's not going to be more fights. Don't get me Absolutely. wrong. I think everybody Absolutely. understands that. Right. Because you've got political ideology and people uh, uh, just, it's, it's politics. But at least you now know what it's like to come together. Yeah. And it's not a panacea. Uh, it is um, the elimination of a symbol. But what I saw in that chamber yesterday was men and women who love this state that we call Mississippi, who came together to, mm. to do something, well, which was really in the best interest of the state. 
when did you begin? Because this thing happened so fast, and yeah. that's probably yeah. one of the reasons that we didn't let other people come in and screw us up, and we didn't have a lot of people buy radio ads for or against or whatever it happened to be. And 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 the expediency of this was probably one of the reasons it was we were able to do it. But when did you begin? Several weeks ago, you look at this. When did you begin to think? You know what? Maybe it is time. Well, there is no one moment. Um, but if I had to to pick a moment, it would be the moment that I heard that Philip Gunn had come back and said that now's the time to change the flag, because he he had gotten so much criticism and and so many death threats and you know don't change the flag, change the speaker and all that, and the fact that this guy uh, decided that he was going to to speak up once again. And that we were going to get this thing done, and th- th- it was probably at that moment that I realized we had a fighting chance. I talked to him. Of course, he was on uh, a few minutes ago, and I'm not going to say anything about it because it's up to him to do this. But the stories that he alluded to to me, and he just touched one tenth of a percent, but I could see it in his eyes. And I, I also know that his phone was overloaded. Not only death threats, but um, some of the most horrific right. things could have been said about him to threaten himself, his livelihood, his political future. And I don't mean anything that was with icing on the cake. I mean, this is a, as bad as you could possibly get. Now, right. look, and I understand that because we get it here. I get it here just from from day one. We did it in 2001. Sure. I'm immune to this because I'm not running from office. But I, I know what I, I, what I got, even to the point of death threats, that they got thousands of times more because they're the ones who hold the power as far as the vote's concerned. Right. You see that. Yeah. You yeah. know that. Yeah, and, you know, you, you have to uh, develop a thick skin. I think where where Philip drew the line was when they threatened his family. You know, uh, he, he really uh, came out very strongly uh, when that happened. But, but you know, as politicians, you, you grow a thick skin. Mm-hmm. And... Um, uh, you kind of uh, have to, you know, take the bitter with the sweet when it comes to criticisms or, or accolades, for that matter. Um, and you, you walk a, a, a line somewhere in the middle. But uh, I, I want to take my hat off to my Republican colleagues because this was not a, an easy vote. Everybody yeah. knows that. And uh, for a lot of them, uh, it may be a career-threatening vote for them as, as far as their political career is concerned. I, however, believe that um, in three years, I think that we will see so much progress in Mississippi that people will say, yeah, they did the right thing. And um, and hopefully uh, those who, who took a hard vote uh, won't be punished for standing up and, and uh, yeah. uh, um, living up to the principles of this country and to the principles of Mississippi. I look at some of the African-American uh, seniors who are members of your body yeah. over in the Senate uh, and also in the House, but uh, it's a long, long time. And he was with me uh, a couple of weeks ago, Doctor, uh, doctor uh, 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 Senator Jordan. Yeah. But a long road. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's good to, that uh, people in, in his age bracket yeah. um, have lived to see this day and, and, and to be a part of the day. Yeah. You know, uh, he gave a very moving speech on he yesterday, did. and um, I, I think he helped to put in context for a lot of folks who may not understand uh, what this flag has meant over the years. Uh, he put it in, in proper context, and, and, and also he showed the way to the future and, and the hope that, that is contained in that vote. And the story of Mr. Bowtie? <laughs> uh, Hillman. Uh, Hillman. Uh, aim high. Oh, man. Uh, what was it? Aim high? Yeah. That was that was a that was a great story, and uh, well, I think pray, it resonated. Pray first, aim high, and folks, stay focused. And stay focused, yeah. and uh, he did it in a in a beautiful manner. Right, and he's been around for a long time. He sure is. Sure Some of these guys, uh, you know, the days are numbered as far as their service is right. concerned. Right, uh, and it was uh, it, it's. I don't think they probably were like Philip and and uh, myself. We, we, we got to bed at the time, but we just couldn't go to sleep. So mm-hmm. we mm-hmm. knew that it was a great day for the state of Mississippi, and we changed. Um, uh, on, on the road ahead, 
everybody's talking about it. You mentioned it's not a panacea. It's not going to cure everything. But it's one of those things that was holding us back. It's almost like, and I just thought about this, it's almost like a, 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 a team in the SEC having a tremendous probation, mm-hmm. recruiting uh, everything else, and you're trying to mm-hmm. compete in the SEC, and it's very difficult with all of that. Now we take that out. Right. And gives us a, a lot better chance. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, you know, it, it's um, it, for, for good or ill, a lot of people look at Mississippi and they look down on Mississippi. A lot of, of it is because of that flag. Well, we don't have the flag anymore. Yep. No. You, you okay with the new uh, design, the possibility? Oh, I haven't seen the design. Uh, yeah, we uh, don't know what it's going to be. We yet, don't know what it's going to be. Yet. Other than uh, it, we'll have to have uh, in God we trust. A- absolutely. And anybody votes against that, they're voting against God. So yeah, I'm just I, telling you right I, now. I absolutely <laughs> don't have a problem with in God we trust. Good, good, good. John, congratulations, sir. Thank you, my friend. Uh, and we march forward. Well, we uh, appreciate the Paul Gallo show because you've been at this thing a long time, Paul. You were, you were really ahead of the game in, in a lot of ways, and, and you took some, some guff for it, but uh, you stood your ground, and, and uh, we see this day. Thank you, man. Appreciate it very much. We both had uh, darker hair when we started. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Thank and, you, John. And more of it.